Hey guys, what's going on? This is OK Chief, and I've got my brand new 2016 Explorer fresh off the factory floor. From the dealership, they uh, dropped it off last night. Uh, the, the, the salesperson was going through the options, but it was pretty late at night, so we really we really didn't get a gist of everything that's going on. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna take this opportunity to go over the kind of things that uh, the, the salesman guy went over with us. So right here are the new keys to the vehicle, right? So uh, this is a completely keyless vehicle. Like, look, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this I'm gonna lock it first, right? Okay, let's lock it. Okay, locked. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my, put it in my pocket. See it in my pocket? Okay, salesman says that all I gotta do is be by the vehicle, touch this, and the door unlocks. That's it. So you jump into the car, Still, keys in the pocket, right? Well, all I gotta do is push down on the brake and push the button. And the car just started. To shut it off, same way. Car's off. Now, ain't that neat? I don't even need the, the key, it has to be within the vicinity. It has to be within the, the vicinity of the... Obey traffic laws. Yes, I be know. Alert. Vicky, and shut the fuck up. Driving. Oh, my God. Turn left onto Jesus Main Street. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut up. Okay, we're cool. All right, so she's pretty annoying. She comes on pretty much every time. It's connecting to the to the phone. We already synced all that shit together. It's, it's got all of the... Uh, what do you call that shit? Um address it's got all it, it download it's synced with bluetooth and and then you make the call by pushing this button yeah and then it goes into some kind of phone oh it's still connecting to the phone oh my phone is in the oh, i don't know why it's doing that so oh probably because i'm using my phone and it's i got it turned off on airplane mode so it's trying to connect to the phone so that's why it's doing that so we have navigation here which you can push navigation here because it's a touch screen and it goes into navigation here or I can push by saying here please say a command navigation Navigation, say a command. Destination. Destination, say street address, intersection, or POI. Alamo, San Antonio. Try saying street address, intersection, or POI. POI. Sorry, please say street address, intersection, or POI. Name P tags, POI categories and home, also work. POI. How would you like to search? By name or by category? Name. Sorry, how would you like to search? By name or by category? To Na search name! Say change state or province. Name. Right now, we are searching for points of interest in Texas. Tell me how you want to search. By name or by category? You can also change state or San province. Antonio, Texas. Asking what can I say will always bring out the list of the active Suck commands. a fucking dick. Okay, guys, let's go over to the radio. How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. Let me see. Fuck, I should have been paying attention. You know what? Let me show you the engine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and turn off this fucking car. This fucking gas is a bitch. 
And uh, let's go ahead. No, it's not. It's really not. It's like a dollar fifty or some shit. Let's go ahead and show you the engine. It's really nice. He had said something about it, but uh, I wasn't paying attention. There you have it. Don't know much about it, but he said it was pretty big, and he gave some numbers. I was like, all right. I mean, it's an engine. It's pretty badass. It's clean. It's new. And uh, I like it. Ford, everybody. Okay, so I know you can open the hatch by pushing this button twice. Nice. And then this button here closes it. Nice. Let's go ahead and open that again. Oh, and there's a remote start on this thing too. I just don't remember how he did it. I think it was this and then this twice boom that just started the car and then I, to turn it off I think you have to push it again yeah see it turns off nice now check out the space in here guys this is huge I know that you have to these things go down they flip all kinds of which ways I don't yeah see that goes down like that and then I think you push I don't know how that goes well I'm sure I need two hands to get that done but it's pretty freaking roomy as you can see these things go up these things these things go up for headrests and so that you don't get whiplash it's pretty deep in here a lot of groceries can fit in here I don't know what this is I never checked this out some kind of empty compartment Nice. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Oh, let me open the door. Okay. Look at that. Nice leather seats. They, they feel great. The new car smell always gets me. It smells really good. That goes down, and I believe these go forward, too. Oh, yeah, you got to push up on this and this at the same time. But I'm using one hand for the camera. These go up. They, they fold up, so it's really nice. A lot of room. Look at that. This is so much room back here. So much room for activities. Does that even come off or up? The vents up here for the AC, which is really nice. I wish it had a moonroof, but it doesn't. Beggars can't be choosers. This is an overall really nice vehicle. This is the XLT. It comes standard with these 20 inch sport rims. Really nice. And as you can see our other vehicles, my old Expo, she's a good workhorse. And then my Jeep, stopped using the Jeep because it got a flat tire. And then there's even another one in front of the Jeep. It's my brother's 62 Chevy Bel Air. <laughs> See it in front there? See my flat? I didn't I haven't I haven't used it because I got a flat. And then my brother's 62 Chevy Bel Air. And there's two other vehicles that we haven't used either. Or we do you use, but now that we got this one, why the fuck go back to the other ones? Cause this one's dope and you get like 23 miles to the gallon it's pretty neat we got really cool double compartment here for the glove box really cool and uh turn that on just to show you over here oh over here you have a usb for your music this right here is the SD card for the navigation 
so that 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 serves for the navigation see navigation sd card fault so just stick that back in there and i'm told to update that you have to buy another chip which pretty much sucks but oh well what are you gonna do so overall it's a really nice vehicle there's a lot more other features man but to be honest with you i don't know all the shit that the salesman said man he said a lot of stuff and man i just didn't feel like listening to all that shit so i'm just gonna figure it all out on my own and uh, i hope you like this 2000 ford explorer 2016 ford explorer xlt unboxing it's a fucking sweet ass ride guys check it out beautiful love it thank you guys so much for watching and for checking out the new ride Hopefully there's going to be some more good memories made with this vehicle. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is OK Chief. Peace out, y'all. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this thing got some badass review camera, guys. Let's check it out. So cool. I love it. Reverse.